Hello, welcome back. In this video, we will be learning about contradiction and tautology. When do we say given compound proposition is tautology and contradiction? Let us see the definition first. The definition says a compound proposition is tautology if and on if for every assignment of truth value to the component proposition occurring in it. The compound proposition always has truth value true. For any truth value of a given uh, for a, the component proposition, the compound proposition, if it is always true, we call it tautology. But the reverse will be true in case of contradiction. If it is always false, the given compound proposition, for example, we can say uh, P and Q implies uh, R, whatever. Anyways, this is a compound proposition, you know. So, if this compound proposition is always true, we call it tautology for any input truth value, input as P, Q, and R. We can take any truth value and final outcome. If it is always true, we call it tautology. Uh, if it is always false, we, we call it contradiction. Uh, if it's not both, if it's not always true, or if it's not always false, uh, it's going to be neither. Uh, it's better to check by using exercises. As you see here, there is exercise. So determine whether each of the following compound propositions is a tautology, a contradiction, or neither it is. So let us see each one by one. But before we start doing the exercise, let us try to recall some rules. The rules are, in case of logical connectives, remember P or Q will be false uh, if and only if both are false. Both P and Q are false. And the other, B and Q, this is conjunction, the first one is disjunction. Uh, it will be true. It has only one truth case in case of and. In case of or, uh, it is always true. One case only false. This case is both false. In case of and, to be true, uh, if and only if, both must be true. P true and F also true. In case of P implies Q, uh, again, this is going to be false. P implies Q for two proposition, P and Q. P implies Q will be false. Uh, if and only if the P or the premise is true and the conclusion Q is false, otherwise it's always true. In case of by implication, P by imply Q will be true if P and Q have same uh, truth values. That means either true true or false false. Anyways, they have to be the same. In another way, if you have two compound proposition left side and right side if they are the same if they are the same for example if you have p or q to the left side and the other side in case of by implication i'm talking in the other side if you have uh, q or v p the same these two are same this time you can conclude it's tautology because if the two same means it's true true or false false so if the two values of the left wing and the right wing are same the by implication will be true always. That means it is tautology. Remember these rules. In addition to that, uh, there are some properties again. What are those properties? Commutative property, like P and Q is the same as Q and P. And also, in case of OR, if this is OR, OR works. And again, associative P and uh, Q and R. Okay, it is the same as P and Q and R case of end okay you can do the first bracket here or you can change the bracket the same it works for all and other properties uh, distributive P and Q or R is the same as P and Q or P and R what do we do here this end will be distributed for each like P and Q here it is the middle or comes here it is and then p and r here it is the same manner if and and or are exchanged the place if this is or if this is and it works and the other main rules that uh, you need to remember 
دي مورغان سرو لك نيجيش روف بي اور كيو is the same as negation p uh, and negation q if you distribute the negation okay the or will be changed into end and negation of p and q will be negation of p or negation of q the reverse process also it works if there are negation you can extract out and the end will be changed into or the same manner these are de morgan's rule and there will be some other rules uh, very critical and very important rules these rules are like p implies q p implies q if you have two propositions combined by implies you can write it in the form negation p or q form or it is the same as negation q uh, implies negation p this is contrapositive contrapositive of the first one so this one is a conditional statement you know this means uh, if p uh, then q Okay, if there is a proposition P and a proposition Q, how to state if the statement P works or if P then Q? This is the meaning. But in case of contrapositive, what to do? You have to negate both and then exchange the place. The premise will be uh, negated, and the conclusion will be negated and will be premise as you see here in case of contrapositive. And the premise will be negated and it's going to be conclusion. So it works. They are the same. The contrapositive of a given conditional statement is the same. So negation of P or Q also it's the same. So these are very important and critical rules. Now let us try to see uh, our exercise. Remembering those rules, let us try to do uh, whether it is contradiction or tautology or neither. Let us check. The first one, it says P and Q by implies q on p so this time the middle uh, connective it's by implies what did I t what did we s discuss before in case of by implies if the left wing and the right wing have same truth value that is pp or ff uh, it's going to be true so uh, it's enough to check whether the left wing and the right wing are same if they are the same because if this truth is going to be true this false it will be false if they are the same so what is written to the left end or the right let us check the left wing here it is p and q what about the right wing it is q and p but remember p and q is the same as q and p by commutative property like 2 plus 3 is the same as 3 plus 2 or 2 times 3 is the same as 3 times 2 addition and multiplication are commutative in any order we can multiply therefore this and the, the left wing and the right wing are the same by implication so this is tautology this is always true whatever the input is taken or whatever the truth values of each component okay the left hand true means the right hand will be true the left hand false means right because they are the same so it's going to be tautology our conclusion will be here it is Okay, let us continue the next one. When we come to the second one, it says P implies Q. P implies Q by implies negation Q implies negation P. First of all, negation P implies negation Q. It is contrapositive, the contrapositive of the conditional statement P implies Q. So we say that P implies Q is the same as negation q uh, implies negation p that is contrapositive so the two are the same again left wing and right wing are same so again this is tautology remember the connection at the middle is in by implication so in case of by implication left hand and right hand same means it's going to be tautology the reason left hand true the right hand will be true left hand false the right hand also will be false so the only case by implication will be true are both truth values has to be the same so when you see the compound proposition to the left hand wing of the in by implication it is p implies q it is the same as the contrapositive which is found to the right side so they are the same it is always tautology let us check the next one again when you come to here it is p and 
Q and R. Again, the middle connective is it is by implication. So P and Q and R. The other side to the right side. P and Q and R. This is associative property of of conjunction. Like two plus three plus four is the same as two plus three plus four. We can add in any order because addition is associative. Multiplication also it works. So the same manner and and or conjunction and disjunction they are associative. So there is n here, there is n here also. The propositions PQR, here it is PQR. But in any order, if you check, they are the same. So our conclusion at this time also, the left hand and the right hand of the by implication side, okay, left hand and right side are the same. Same compound propositions are found. That means uh, true here, it will be true here. If this is false, it's going to be false. So they will have the same uh, truth value or outcome left hand and right hand therefore we can conclude it is again tautology next one when you see the next one uh, again it is by implication at the middle the connective but before the by implication P or Q or R is there what about oh, the right hand uh, there are negations both and at the middle there is end let us ignore the bracket let us consider this bracket like one Okay, this bracket in a negation in front, and there is another proposition here. And let us extract the negative. When we extract the negative, what will happen? P and Q, the bracket, the inner bracket, the first one will be as it is, but the end will be changed as OR and R. Because by De Morgan's rule, what did I do? I just take out the negative. Which negative is taken out? The negative which is found here and here. When we extract that negation, what happened? This one remain as it is, but the end will be changed into OR, and again the R remains without negation. Now try to observe. Are they the same? They are not the same. There is OR R, but this is going to be because here both are OR, but the right side it is not. But if it happened like negation of P or R, P or Q or R, if it is a type of like this one we can say look or or they, are, they will be the same but negation here that means the left hand true means the right hand necessarily will be false the left hand false means the right hand will be true that means they will never be the same okay right and left hand side of the by implication will be different so we can conclude in that time it will be always false we can say it's con uh, a contradiction but this side the left hand and the right hand are not the same as you see because what do we have uh, this is our assumption what do we have as you see it's end and or conjunction and disjunction appear but the left hand it's simply both conjunction but at the same time there is negation so it's neither to be tautology left hand and right hand must be the same it has to be the same but they are not because or or here the second one uh, it is end and or are there but to be opposite, one must be the negation of the other. But it is not, again. So it will be neither. OK, when you go to the next, again, it is by implication will be the connector at the middle. So how does it look? Uh, let us focus here on the second to the right wing. There is negation in both. So let us extract the negation outside and then let us see what remains inside uh, P the first bracket will remain as it is P and Q and the or the end the or this one this or will be changed into end by De Morgan's rule because we are taking out the negative as common then what remains P or R nothing is changed only the bracket I mean the negation extracted and this or will be changed into end now try to observe here something what is that P and P and found in both. So, I mean, uh, so it's not P and uh, both. It's not conjunction in both bracket. It's, if it was, uh, we could extract P and P and like the conjunction will be extracted. Uh, we can say it is distributed, but it's not because this is end. This is or. They are not the same. What if we distribute the left hand? Look. This is negation of, imagine, negation of the right side is already done, here it is. It's the whole thing is the right side wing. 
it's a negation of P and Q on one bracket and P or R it says let us distribute the left hand and let us check when you distribute it will be P and Q verse bracket okay this will be distributed with this again will be distributed with or P and Q I said and or P and R now try to observe the left hand as you see P and Q P and R but this one P and Q and P or R it's not the same this one and this one are not the same if it was the same okay the left hand and the right hand side could be uh, opposite because this one negation as you see so one true one false or one false one true which is going to be opposite so it, it was support it will be uh it would be contradiction but not the reason they are not opposite and at the same time they are not the same we are discussing about the by implication so again it is uh, neither next again the next one let us try to check still the connective is the connector is, is by implication so the left hand negation P or Q and R exist the right hand P or Q and P or R that means P or and P or is distributed like uh, or is distributive over end so we can extract P or if you take out P or what remains Q and R remain now try to see here this compound proposition is it the same as the left wing that is negation P or Q and R are they the same let us try to check so when you see Q and R, it exists in both sides, and there is OR also, it's OR. But P and negation P, it is not, they are not the same. Again, they are not opposite. To say they are opposite, first of all, the bracket, the whole bracket, and the whole bracket must be the same. Secondly, there must be negation in either of the two outside the bracket. Okay, for example, if you have P or Q and R in the first bracket, okay, in the, in the second bracket, if you have P or Q and R, the same, but outside the bracket, there must be negation. To say they are opposite. Okay? The inner are the same, but one is the opposite of the other because the negation is for all, for the whole compound. But this negation is not for all, only for P. So we cannot neither, they are neither e the same or nor opposite. So that we cannot say it is contradiction or tautology. Again, uh, it uh, still will be neither let us proceed to the next one when you go to the next one uh, again there are two propositions connected by by implication uh, the left hand we can extract the negative by De Morgan's rule if you take out the negative what remains P and Q remains the or will be changed into end and what do we have to the right side P and Q but the inner bracket are the same okay the brackets are the same but one of the brackets it contain negation outside that means these are opposite the right hand and the, 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 the right and the left hand and the right hand are they are opposite they will have opposite truth values if this true this must be false uh, one false one true exists so in case of by implication if the left and the right hand compound propositions are opposite truth values or different truth values contradiction it's always false so this will be contradiction okay the last one uh, somehow different what makes it unique because it's not by implication at the middle here it implies in case of implies the only false case always false means the premise true the conclusion false this time it's always false otherwise true true or false false or false true doesn't matter it's going to be always true therefore now let us see the left side here or the premise this one we call it premise and after implication we call it conclusion okay premise true conclusion uh, false means it's going to be false okay so the premise part it has negation both so let us extract the negation what we will have P or Q will have implies 
negation of p or q now when we observe the premise and the conclusion they are the same negation of p or q negation of p or q they are the same means true implies true or false implies false exists both of them are true either true implies true or false implies false it's going to be true always whatever truth value they do have here if the premise part is true the conclusion also true because they are the same therefore uh, this compound proposition will be always true so we can say it is tautology so these are the exercise uh, that I provide for you like it may explain better what means a contradiction and what means tautology accordingly the definition says if it is always the given compound proposition if it is always true it will, it will be tautology for any input for any uh, truth values of each component uh, proposition if it's always true it is tautology otherwise it's contradiction so we have seen exercise uh, what you see here thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe like and comment